Hello! Thank you for watching our latest video. I'm Colin. I'm Shona. I thought you were going to introduce me. Matt Shona. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> and we are Road to Disney. Thank you so much for watching this video. As you probably know, you probably got the idea from our last video, uh, we very recently went to California and Los Angeles and whilst we were there we visited Disneyland California, uh, Disney's California Adventure and also Universal Studios Hollywood and of course when you go to these places you have to buy stuff because it's rude not to. Compulsory. Yeah you have to. It's... I don't think we bought that much though but no. looking at it I suppose it's quite a bit. Because we do, we've done a few of these halls in the past. We went to Disney World uh, two years ago and Disneyland Paris last year. Um, and we always seem to buy a lot of stuff, but yeah, as you said, we were quite restrained this time. I thought we did alright. Mm. Um, I sort of made the rule before we went out there, because I've already got so many Disney bits of clothing, as you mm. can see here, which I bought over the years. I was like, no t-shirts, no tops, no jumpers. And there wasn't really anything that I was desperate to get, actually. Mm. So I wasn't too disappointed. You actually did quite well on the clothing front. Yeah, because I don't have as m half as many clothes as you do. No, you've got some really good mm. stuff as well. Excited to show Shona's clothing, because she's got some really cool things. Um, I don't know why I'm holding myself like this, as if I'm trying to embrace myself, but... Uh, so we've got a few things... Mm. I really had here. a bit of like a mental wish list of things that I wanted. Because I suppose that's kind of the joy of Instagram is you kind of can budget. Cause it tells you on, like on the channels how much it is, but it also kind of ruins the surprise of what's in the shops as well, doesn't it? Yeah. So I already knew I wanted a Pandora charm because I collect them, and a spirit jersey. Mm. But I suppose there are, there are some other things that we brought which we didn't know were there, so they were still a surprise. But yeah. you know what I mean, though. It is difficult with Instagram now because uh, mm. we follow a lot of Disney Instagrammers, and yeah. whenever there's something new, they'll post it. And you see it, and um, you want it, and yeah. yeah. There, there wasn't many surprises, as Sharon said, but uh, yeah, I thought we, I think we bought some good stuff. Yeah, I stuck to what I wanted, but then got a few things as other things as well. Yes. Shall we start? With what? Let's start on this side. Your stuff's more exciting than mine, so when we get this stuff mm. over, out of the way, straight away. In this bag, I've got, which of course, the, the Disney Parks bag. Which everyone loves. So they've actually, I mean, in the past, when you go to Disney, like Disney World, California, Paris, wherever, they love giving you plastic bags. They just love shoving them in the face. They'll put anything, and it doesn't matter how small, in a plastic bag. But I know recently, where you're going with this, but we don't have it to hand. Are you going to go get it? That's a good point. It's Store in, them, Shaws. It's in them. the um, wardrobe. Yeah, but as Colin said, they used to give you literally plastic bags for everything. But again, on Instagram, before we went out, we saw that they were doing reusable bags. So we thought that maybe they're going to start charging for bags. And to be honest, not one person said, oh, do you want a reusable one instead of a plastic one? Because um, the, plas the plastic ones here are still free. But because they're behind the till on display, you do see them and they're really reasonable. I think the one we brought was about $2, so that's really cheap. And it's a decent size. We got the bigger one because um, it, they come in three different sizes, small, medium and large. And we got medium because small was out of stock. And actually in the summer it will make a really good beach bag because we live by the beach. So we can carry all our stuff down that way. So thanks to Shoz, we found it. This is our reusable bag from Disneyland California. We went for the um, blue one. It came in red as well for California Adventure. It's really cool, they've actually designed, I don't know if Shoss has said this, but they've designed different ones for parks around the world. So there's nice. different designs for Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom in Florida, and also Disneyland Paris. So they're encouraging people to use to have reusable bags. And this was only a dollar. Yeah, I said they're really cheap. Yeah, so it's worth it. And it's actually, I love the design. You can mm. see the, um, it's got the Ferris wheel, the monorail, the castle, and it's a small world as well. So and it says Disneyland Resort down this side as well. Which is really cool. So we got one of those. So yeah, got that. Uh, so, as I was saying, bags. They still gave us little bags though, which is strange. Yeah, I said they weren't really trying to get you to buy those, really. Not yet. I think in Florida they've been stricter on it, but not in California, for some reason. Anyway, so the first one we got, now I always forget the name of these. This We got these on Pixar Pier. These are Luxor balls. So, they're more familiar as the balls from Pixar. So you recognise them in the Pixar logos, and they're always like hidden somewhere in the Pixar film, like in the background. And they're made of just rubber just balls. We've got two of these. Um, bought them for someone else on the I think I bought the receipt here. Let's see how much these were. I think they're, they're for our friend, weren't they? Yeah. They were. Oh, I didn't say. That's not the right receipt. For some reason, that's been fifteen. They were twelve ninety nine. They're three nine. 
13.98 two. So what's that? That's about six dollars or something. It's about five quid. So yeah, nice ball. I think it's more for display purposes. It's a very, it's a rock hard ball. It doesn't really Does bounce. It? Squeezy. Not oh, really, God, no, no, it's not. rock hard. So apparently these were everywhere during Pixar Fest, which they had in California recently. Um, but these were in most of the shops on Pixar here mm. as well. So yeah, that's the first ring bought. Two of those. If you love Pixar, a must have. Uh, what should I do for? What should I do? Ah, let's do smaller things. Fridge magnet! Yay! We collect these, we can't not get one. Can't go anywhere without having bought. <laughs> Engage core. Cool. There we go. There we go. So we can't go anywhere without buying a fridge magnet. We we're trying to build up a uh, good collection of them. We like this one. It's got the castle. It says Disneyland, and at the bottom, happiest place on earth. I think this was the red level. They have different levels of how much their uh, key rings and fridge magnets and things are. I think this one was probably about six, seven dollars. Something like that. And normally we took the price of most of them, so we're just guessing and remembering. Um, but it's nice. I mean, I wanted the actual thick um, castle one where the castle comes out, because we got the one for Paris and for Florida, and I thought it'd be nice to have the collection of them, but we saw the one for California. Didn't like it very much. It wasn't great, so we decided to go for this one instead, and it looks nice in our fridge. Yes, very colourful. That. Very nice. Uh, and oh, two more things actually I'm going to show very yeah. quickly. Um, I'm very into baking at the moment. I love baking cakes, things like that. And they had quite a nice bakery um, selection there. Um, there was various different things. There was an apron, oven gloves. Uh, what else was there? Like cake tins, that sort of thing. Whisk, stuff like that. Um, but I got these. I don't actually know the proper names for these things. Spatulas. Spatulas, I guess. Um, they are well, spatulas. I think there was an actual name for them though, because they're used for like scraping icing on top of cakes and things like that. So it's for finishing cakes and making them look nice. Uh, and there's two of them here. Uh, and you see it's got the Mickey Mouse um, pant design there. I think that's how you'd say, which is quite cool. Yellow one here. Um, so I really like that. Had to get that. And it's even got like a little measurement guide as well. So it says, yeah, conversions for cup, fluid, tablespoon, teaspoon, milliliter on the back. Get that to focus as well. There we go. So that's really helpful, um, especially as in America they use a lot of cup cup sizes, and we don't use that here in the UK. So if I find any American recipes, um, this would be very handy. And there's also a smaller one as well. Um, I assume that's for smaller cakes. Don't really know, but fairy cakes. Uh, fairy cake <laughs> came with it. There we go. You can see it's got Mickey, it's got the ice cream and his glove, and it's uh, very nice. So. Yes, that was a, name, a personal thing I wanted to get, so I was very happy. Spatch. Got my spatch. And the last thing I want to talk about for showing the talks about her, whatever, is so excited to have we got this. I've wanted this for so long. We found a huge one of this, or a mm, medium sized one, well, yeah. in Paris for over 100 euros. Mm. Um, but found this one in California with the Christmas bauble decorations. Yeah, it uh, did have a little. Um, Ribbon hangers, so I'm guessing it is meant to go in a tree. I think so, but I wouldn't want to hang this anyway because no. it's quite big. Are you ready for this, people? Are you ready? Here we go. Oh boy, it's the Walt and Mickey statue, which is in, I think, all the parks around the world. Um, it's definitely in Paris, obviously, Paris, Magic Kingdom, and in California. Um, once again, I'm going to try and get it to focus. There we go. Got long arms. Yeah, there we go. So it's really nice. Um, small version. This was $20. Which is still quite a, fa a fair bit of money, but it's a lot cheaper than other ones I've seen. Yeah. And I've wanted this for ages, so. Yeah, I was going to say the one that you wanted was over 100, wasn't it? Yeah. And we looked at what we thought we could potentially justify if it was made of like bronze or something really expensive. Yeah. But it's just plastic. I swear it's just plastic or some sort of crappy metal. Yeah, it wasn't great. It wasn't great. It wasn't worth the money. And this is all I wanted. And it's really nice. Exactly what I wanted. So this has gone on our shelving unit behind mm. the camera where our TV is. And yeah, I just really like that. We've taken the ribbon off. Um, yeah, for, but you, you can see there's a hook it. there for what you're supposed to put on a Christmas tree or something. But, but it's a uh, good size. Yeah, and $20, which is a lot, but I wanted it. So It's I'm quite very detailed, to be fair. There. Yeah, it's nice. You can see the detail of his, uh, his trousers. And Mickey looks nice and happy at the bottom there. So, very pre pleased with those purchases there. Now, looking at what else we've got, we ah, mm. let's quickly do these ones. These are our badges and stuff. Oh, what they, we got for free? Yeah. So, when you go to a Disney park, you've got to get a badge. 
if it's your birthday, if it's your first time there, if you're celebrating, even if you're not celebrating anything, it's nice to get a, a pin. Yeah, which they, These give. Are, they give you for free, either in the shops or the um, guest service at the start. Yes, we got all these from a shop actually, we were told they had them everywhere. Um, we got doubles of everything because we all had one. We had, obviously, first visit. And what's good is, although they're the same design as the other parks, they have um, Disneyland Resort on the bottom, which yes. obviously you can only get in California. Which we didn't realise. No, so we you're... thought they were all just the same, didn't we? That's really nice, actually. So you know, because um, you just get a generic first visit one and you know take it anywhere, but it actually you know says where you went. So that's really cool. Got two of those. Um, we also had. Oh god, we're going to say it. We're about to say it, aren't we? So we got the I'm celebrating one as well, which has got Goofy on. You, normally you can write underneath. What you're we, celebrating, yeah. Yeah, um, we didn't because we didn't have a marker and we just didn't. We got two of those. And uh, this would be another hint as to why we were celebrating. And the next <laughs> pin. We got the happily ever pin because. Wait, wait, wait for it to focus. Well, there you go. Say again. <laughs> okay, am I allowed to talk? Then? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's not, it's not. It's silly if you're talking, you can't, you can't even see it. Oh, God, this is awkward. So we got the happily ever after pin because. We got engaged while we're on holiday. Yay! We didn't get engaged at Disneyland. We got no. engaged in Los Angeles the day before. No, it wasn't. It was two days before. Two days actually. before, yeah. And um, as soon before we went into Disney World, we need to get one of these pins. We wanted they just an engaged one. Yeah, they do this. No, so they have happily ever after, which can be that you've just been got married, and we you know it means we're the same thing. We will get married. We want to get married, so yeah, we thought that's as good as anything. So yeah, the photo pass people when they saw that badge. We had the mod, didn't we? The, he was very good. A guy called Chad, I think he was, by the um, the statue. He took a load of cringy pictures of us <laughs> with it, but he was really good. He spent a lot of time with us actually getting some really nice photos. Yeah, he did. So that was good. And you see, our, this is in the Universal bag, <laughs> which we didn't actually buy much from Universal. No, they gave, um, we got the... Oh. Just wanna, so who can see the detail in there. It's got Harry Potter minions and Simpsons. Oh, sorry. I was gonna. You're gonna have to show it. I don't know why I'm trying to show it. I'm too short. What got, the main thing we got from Universal? That's got the price on. What's that say? Five dollars. It's yeah. made. It's made pretty poorly. It's not as good quality as the Disney one. We got another fridge magnet. Universal Studios Hollywood, and this was four dollars ninety-five. So that's about five. About five quid in it. It was the only one so. that had Hollywood on it. Yeah. All the rest was just Universal, weren't they? Yeah. It's a nice cheesy. Little. Um, little cheesy. Pit, Fridge magnet, but we liked it, so that'll go uh, prior the place on our fridge next to the Disney ones. So yeah, it's very nice. There. The only other thing we got at Universal was I wanted to get a pin, but again, they didn't have any nice Universal ones that had Hollywood on. They were all, the ones that they did. I remember I was a bit pink and tacky. I wasn't keen. And then my mum pointed out, you've seen our pin collection video, so. Well, you would have, if not, Colin, I'm sure we'll link it below. Yeah. But I added it to my lanyard on the show. It's for the year of the pig. It's this one here. So um, it's got Universal Studios. I've got my knees for this. With a so pig on it. <laughs> and then it's got the, um, the year, so 2019. So I thought that was a nice one to get. Still doesn't say Hollywood on it, I don't think, does it? Does it just say Universal Studios? There we go. Does it just say Universal on it? It says Universal Studios 2019. Yeah. And then there's a pig in there as well. But it's unique to the year you were there. Yeah. So which is nice. I thought that was nice. That was about ten or twelve dollars. Yeah. Nice pin though. I like mm. a little free for a bit at the bottom. So yeah. that was all we've got in Universal. We're not really big into Simpsons or Minions or anything like that. So speak for yourself, love. I love Simpsons. Yeah, but you weren't into the merch, were you? No, the merch wasn't that great. The Harry Potter stuff was cool, but um, I was dragged out of that shop. I could have bought a lot from there. A stitch, I could have bought robes, a wand, I could have bought a stitch. But no. A stitch? A snitch? Did I say stitch? You said stitch. That's Disney. They ain't <laughs> universal. A snitch is what I meant. And they had like all the different houses, like um, yeah, jumpers and I, stuff. But I made the point to Colin that um, Back here is in Primark, you get so much um, Harry Potter, I was going to say Hermione Potter, <laughs> Harry Potter merchandise that you don't need to go to Universal to spend that kind of money on it. No. You can get just as good, if not better, stuff in Primark. So none of it was appealing and none of it was really unique um, 
stuff that you could get in Universal. It was all just like house stuff that didn't even have Universal or Hollywood on it, did it? No. There was no Hollywood Universal Harry Potter no. merchandise. It was just plain Generic Harry Potter. Harry Potter, yeah. That you could honestly have got anywhere, no one would know. So even the pins, there's no Harry Potter pins that are. There not was nice Harry, ones. not ones that were. There were some for the specific. Forbidden Journey, which is the main ride there, but they weren't that great, were they? I don't think there was. I thought there were. I no, it, just, it was just like houses. Mm. Oh, yeah, it was disappointing. They were missing a trick there. And I mean, the um, a lot of the merchandise over here in the UK, we've got the Warner Brothers Harry mm. Potter Studio tour, and a lot of the merchandise they sell there, they were selling in Universal. Mm, so same. stuff we'd seen before, like chocolate, like a lot of the foodie things, like chocolate frogs, mm. Bertie Bots beans, and stuff like that. So none of it was really like a big oh, not seen that before. So that's a bit annoying. But yeah, but from Universal. helpful because we obviously had more cash to spend elsewhere. And now you've started the train, we should go for the pins that Shane has got, because there are yes, a lot. She I got did a lot buy of pins, quite a few. A lot of nice pins as well. I think... As you know, I'm not really into the whole pin thing, but Shona loves it. She's, on, she's yeah. got three lanyards for now, I think. Two. Two lanyards for now. Yeah, next time we go away, I have to get another lanyard. Yeah, all right, so Just, they're, they're all mixed in together. Yeah, there's only two that yeah, I didn't get on the trip. I wanted to get a Disneyland one, but I couldn't see a California one, so, um, like as in like a Disney California Adventure one, so I went for that. Nice sketch. And I thought it was a really nice sketch, yeah. yeah. The others had the date on, but I already had ones that were quite similar, so I went for that one. No, it's the Mickey here, it's the same Mickey that is on yeah, my jumper. Same, yeah. Same design, that's interesting. Um, then what's the that was we got? Beverly oh. Hills one. Then I got Beverly Hills one, because we went on, um... A tour and we actually stopped at Beverly Hills and went into the tourist information centre just on a whim hoping that they would have a loo and thank god they did and um, I saw they had pins and that was really cheap it was only like three or four dollars so I got that hmm. which is the famous sign really like that which they've actually copyrighted and trademarked so yeah you can't use this Beverly Hills sign without proper authorization and they can sue you for a lot if you film it or take pictures of it this so, is a replica, so we're good. Yeah, we're good. And they've probably given like authority to use that as well. So yeah, it's a pin that's not even something you you know, not a theme park pin, but that's also me. I like it this. a lot. It's good, that's a good one. So yeah, Disneyland one, the top here, and also that one. Uh so oh let's go to the other side. There's some awesome There's ones some on the other side. side. Yeah. People. Uh let's start with I got the Incredi Coaster pin because that was my favourite ride of of the entire holiday. So I really wanted to get a pin to kind of show that. What's the word? Yeah, show that. You know. Yeah, to highlight the memory uh, yeah. of how fun it was. It was so good. Such so, a great so ride. good. But uh, yeah, I couldn't find it easily. I think I looked in about three shops before I found it. I knew there must be one. Yeah. Um, so I'm glad I did. Mm. So that one, and the one beneath Same it's... with Pixar Pier. I looked in all the shops that are actually on the pier, didn't see it. And it wasn't until um, we were leaving, I looked in the main shop in Disneyland, uh, Disneyland California Adventure Park. Is that what it's called, isn't it? California Adventure California. picks up here, yeah. Um, that I just saw it there by chance, but I'm annoyed. I only noticed when we got home that on the ball there's a slight chip of the paint missing, but... You had to get it when you saw it, though, because they were very rare. We didn't see many no, of these. No, it was really bizarre. Hmm. So I got that one, because oh. obviously there's only one picks up here. Yeah, which is awesome. Picks up here is amazing. It's yeah. so good. I wanted to get... Um, yeah, we've got the Matterhorn pin because, again, that's the only, as far as I'm aware, it's the only Disney park um, that has it, and I really liked it. So I thought, I like the pin, I like the ride, let's get the pin. Makes <laughs> sense, and it's it's weird though because it looks like nice and happy there, but the actual story of that it's ride is scary, quite scary. Yeah, it's quite scary. Yeah, about a yeti. Um, I think it's a yeti. Is it a yeti? No, no, it's yeah, he's a yeti. Like yeah, a maybe it's a yeah. Yeah, monster thing. Whatever. Well, there is. Bigfoot uh, sort of thing. Was that one? Did you get that one? No, I got that yeah. in Paris. So the next one is. Let's yeah. And then I had to get this one because while we were there, it was Mickey's put your ears on celebration for the fact that he's obviously 90 this year. So um, if you go, if you look closely, I think it does say 90 on it. Uh, let's have a look at the camera. That's why I chose that one. That. Oh, yeah, it says in the middle. He's got like candles right in the centre. You can see it yeah, says so you 90. Yeah, you can see it says 90. Yeah. And I liked it because it's in the design of like however the illustrator had drawn him, that kind of image was used throughout, wasn't it? That's the current look of Mickey Mouse. Like so. in all of the, um, in the show, at the end of the day, they used that. Yeah, 
Yeah, you could, I mean, that's the sort of pin that you can only get when we were there. Like, yeah. obviously, you can get it another time, I guess, discounted, but then you'd be lying to yourself because you weren't <laughs> actually there for the, the ears on celebration. So I've got that one. And then lastly, I've got Splash Mountain. Which we'll focus in a minute, hopefully. There you go. I did want it when I went to Florida, um, but didn't get it. You only truly conquered Splash Mountain in California, so that's yes. why that's why you it got was it. so cold, and it, we got so so wet. So I thought I've got to get the pin. Yeah. So I regretted not getting it in Florida. So when I saw they had it in California too, I had to do it. <laughs> it's a really cute one. It is nice, and he looks absolutely. That's that's literally the face that he's got there. Actually mirrors my face <laughs> when I, we we had our photo taken on there. I'll I'll put the photo from Splash Mountain on here so you can see that. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. And all good pins that they represent all, our time in California. They were all about 10 each, I reckon. 10 to 10 to 10. They ain't cheap. But they you had to get them. But I like them a lot. So that's that one. Have you got more on this one? No, that's it now. Oh, that's it. That's all the pins. I thought well, there was more. You say all, oh, that's a lot. But... Well, you got a lot of pins, people. My like two lanyards. As I said, my, criter oh. my criteria was unique things. Yeah. I'm not really interested in just like the character pins, I like the attraction pins. You've got to mean something. What's the point in getting a... They're saying that. There was actually some pins I'd not seen before. There was Emperor's New Groove pins, mm. which are really cool. I'd never seen it. Oh, it was yeah. Kronk, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There was loads of pins. I mean, I like looking at them, but I would never buy them for Yeah, myself. you were like, get that one. And I was like, oh, you're going to get it then. Oh, no. <laughs> no. We, need to get, we need to get like a notice board to put them on, I think, because soon we're going to run out of space Probably. and they just end up getting loads and loads of lanyards and not really wearing them. Yeah. So... No, I don't wear them. I just display them on yeah. our... On our pinboard here. So I think that's that. Should we do the clothing Close. now? All shown us, and these are all really cool. So this was top oh, well of the priority list. I don't think anyone who doesn't have Instagram doesn't know about spirit jerseys. Yeah, this is the juge, isn't it? Everyone yeah. Has these. When we last went to Disney, um, they weren't a thing, and I, I know that they now do them everywhere, and you can even get them in Paris now. Yeah. So. They were a whole, what, yeah, was it a new thing when we went to Florida? Or was it something They didn't that... even have them in Florida. No, yeah. This, so in the past we couple of years, we missed it, yeah. So I've been seeing them everywhere. And you can get loads of different designs, and you can get them themed to, like, different um, different rides. You can get, like, a Tiki Room one. There was a nice, um, it's a small world one. Yeah. I like that one. That was quite cool. But they're, they're pricey. They're oh, about $60. Yes. Mm. So I knew that I'd have to get one that I could wear a lot. And the trouble with the It's a Small World one, it was white and it had a bit of a in-your-face pattern, so I was worried it wouldn't go with a lot. Whereas I thought if I go for like quite a neutral colour, I'd get much more wear out of it. And it's quite thin, it's not really a thick, wintry jumper. Mm. So the fact that it's in like a pastel colour is nice. And I like the kind of rose goldy y the D. glitter. The D, that logo there, which is obviously the D for Disneyland Resort. Yeah. Um, I saw that on a mug actually. There was a mug which oh, had that nice, as the handle, which was yeah. cool. I like it was it's established 1955, which is cool. Um, but yeah, it's nice. And you look, it suits Shona. It's a nice, nice colour. There was loads to choose from, as you said. Loads, yeah. How much do you reckon this was? I reckon it was about 60. Yeah, pricey. Pricey yeah. for what it is. You expect But to you can only get it there. Jersey. You can't get it online or anything like that. You just need to go to all the other parks now and get one for each <laughs> park, don't you? But I needed it because it was so cold. It yeah. was an extra layer. I just, I wore it religiously. So as soon as we got home, I had to um, wash it, and it's washed really nicely. It's yeah. a bit creased, but... Crease, crease, crease. Yeah, I do... Soft. Sometimes the quality isn't the best of these things, but no, it's nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm wearing... I, I wear one of my Disney World t-shirts the other day, and I noticed it's almost... The, the pattern on it is almost completely faded off from going through the washing Which machine. Which one's that? The one that's got the castle down. I'm not wearing it now. Oh, you're wearing I don't it know, now. I'm not just to show people. Is God, it really? Yeah, look at that. Oh, it has Yeah, like, so it had the castle down the side. You see here, it's all fading. This is really nice, like, this really thick mm, black so, ink on this. Let me see. It's what yes, Disney World down the bottom of, as well. Some of it. Gotcha. I know. It some, shows, because this wasn't cheap, this no. t-shirt. It's a shame. Some of it is made much better than others. Yeah. The quality is not is a bit, um... Yeah. What's the word? Inconsistent. That's two years ago now. Well, almost two years. Uh, right, so what else have you got? Next up, the t-shirts weren't that great for women. Um... I have just a standard Mickey one that I got in Florida, so I thought, oh, I could get one that's the same as that, just with Disneyland on it, but um, it didn't, I don't know, it just felt like I was just getting it because I, I liked, liked it from before, and I kind of was giving up on the idea of getting any sort of t-shirt, and then I saw this one, which I, you're going to have to lift up so you can see the detail, but they had quite a few 
um, different souvenirs of this design on. They had a mug. I think they had um, like a notebook. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a hoodie. A hoodie, yeah. maybe. Um, and a jumper. And it's got the castle. I think it's got a few. It's got the monorail on it. It's got Walt and Mickey. And a few um, fireworks. And it does say it's got the Disneyland D on it. And then on the back, mm. it says Disneyland Resort at the top. Oh, and it's got the Ferris wheel for California Adventure. Yeah. It's got the Matterhorn. It's very detailed. Um, you, the more you look at it, the more you, the more you spot. notice. Yeah. It's a really nice T-shirt. So I went for that. I really like it. They did have a hoodie version similar to this, which I was tempted by, but I, I don't need another hoodie. He's got Do so not many. need another Disney hoodie. As much as I would love it, I've got so many. I've so really, many. I've only got one, so. Yeah, it made sense. I showed a bought more on this uh, this trip. And then, due to the fact that I was freezing. <laughs> And as I say, it was so cold, it was freakishly cold in um, California. And I had on... Um, it was honestly free. All the staff there, kept, all the cast members kept saying to us, we bought, cold, we yeah. bought the cold weather with us yeah. in the UK, because it was really cold. I'm trying to think what I had on this day. I was still dressed, you know, sensibly. I had a scarf on and everything and a thick cardigan, but I was still just shivering. So I saw a lady... Um, wearing this and that's to be honest that's how you notice most of the I'll do it up the zip so you can see. Oh, so much detail on this, it's so nice. This is how you see most of the merch is because you see other people wearing it. You're like, oh I like that. Where <laughs> where can you get that? And I saw a lady wearing it and it really suited her so yeah you have to hold it. I'll hold this up for you guys. So it's really plain up on the front. It's just got the licky licky <laughs> the little Mickey um logo for the whole resort, this because this kind of symbolises everything, a bit like my T-shirt. In the front, yeah, it's got the. It's got the um, Ferris wheel. It's got. It's like a compass. It's like representing both parts. Oh yeah, it's the same. Oh no, it's a bit more basic. A bit on more the front. basic on the front. Uh, are you ready, guys? Are you ready for this? And then on the back. Whoa! Big Mickey that. with the castle, the Ferris wheel. I think it's very similar to my T-shirt. So it's got like the Matterhorn on it. Yeah. And the monorail on there. Maybe not, no. I don't know what that is. Oh, that might be where we went for lunch. The Café Theatre, is it? Yeah, it is. the Café Theatre yeah. where we had uh, lunch. Okay. Right. So, yeah, yeah, I think it's the Café Theatre. And then, as if that detail wasn't enough, in the hood... Discover the magic, it reads. In the hood, it's got little badges. I literally love this. When I went to Florida for the first time, when I was 12, I had a top like this that had all the different um, badges for all the different rides, but like in a really vintage style. So that really reminded me of that top, which I obviously don't have anymore because I'm not 12. <laughs> <laughs> so I really like that oh, detail. It's lovely. Look and it's, it's got all the dates on it, like when they opened, I think. Oh, yeah, it's Carrots of the Caribbean, Star Tours, Railroad, Dumbo, all the rides It's like all there. the original rides. Yeah, it's so nice. It's such nice attention to the detail. Haunted Mansion's in there as yeah. well. Um, yeah, it's so nice. Really nice. Lovely. and really fleecy and warm and because it's um, American sizes, I think, I think this is only extra large, but it's still fitted over a really thick cardigan so it's a good, it was a good size. And the last bit is on the hood at the back, it says Disneyland Resort as well, oh, yeah. you're under any doubt as to where, where it's you from. bought it from, <laughs> which is nice as well. This is absolutely lovely, this is yeah. one of my favourite, but I think you and your mum both bought this. We did, yeah, <laughs> we both really liked it. How much is it? Um, again, I think it was about 60. That's actually not bad for a hoodie. There. Mm. That's, that's actually quite a decent price and for a it Disney is, hoodie. It the is detail detailed, on that as well, yeah. that's really nice. Because though it's, it is obviously very Disney, it's also very tasteful Disney, I feel. <laughs> very nice. I wear this a lot, because my other one that I got in Florida, um, it's very thick, and like a lot thicker than this one, so at least now I've got a really thick one for when it is colder here, yeah. and this one for when it's kind of in between weather. Yeah. So that's all the clothing items. That just leaves us for Pandora charms. Oh god, the Pandora charms! Yeah, I'm gonna take my bracelet off so you Let's can do hold it. Now. Do those last time. Yeah, I got um, the. There's not much to say apart from if you've seen our previous videos. Yeah, stand up and show you these. You know that I collect um, Pandora charms. So to add to my collection, I brought myself the Ferris wheel because, of course, you can only get that in California. So I thought that was really special. For to kind of remember our trip. Really nice, that one, you see it here. Yeah, that's a lovely one, pretty. And then um, my stepdad brought, said I could get another, you got each me and my sister's a charm. So I chose the pink one, can you see it? Which one's that? That one. Oh, yeah. 
It's got 2019 on it, which I thought was special because obviously we went in 2019. And it's got the castle, the Disneyland castle on it, and fireworks. So I thought that was really nice. I hadn't seen anything like that before. Didn't they say they don't just come in? Yeah, it yeah, was it's new, brand new. So I really wanted to get that one. I was I was toying between that one and the castle, but I got the castle when we went to Paris. Yeah, that's the one next to it there. You can see that's the mm. Disneyland Paris castle, which is really nice with a blue blue turret. Uh, blue roof because I think they said the blue one was to celebrate the 25th anniversary That's right, so that, yeah. was, that was sort of like a limited uh, one time one so I thought I'd go for the ball because also um, it kind of separates all the dangly ones otherwise I have quite a few dangly yeah so yeah I did really well there Pandora is still going strong if not they're making it bigger their Disney ones are brilliant I mean we found the Pandora shop in Cal uh, Disneyland Resort, where the Pirates of the Caribbean ride is oh, in the Orleans show, Square. Do you want to show the Hollywood one as well? Not no. Disney. Oh, I got Universal one. Oh, Hollywood. No, no, sorry. no, just Hollywood. Got one from actual uh, Hollywood. Hollywood, yeah. Special because that's where we got engaged. Not okay. actually in Hollywood, but we did see Hollywood that day. See Hollywood there. Just a nice circle disc one. Really cool. Is it the same on the other side? Just says Pandora, oh, just says Pandora on the other side. But it's annoying because we, we were actually where were we? Well, we, we, got, oh, we, we were, were in the Dis Disney Springs, weren't we? You got that? Yeah, we got that in Disney Springs. Oh, Disney no. Springs. Sorry, downtown Disney is what it's called in California. Oh, yeah. No, we were in Santa Monica when um, we went in just a normal Pandora shop and they had all the Disney charms, but not the pa not the park exclusive ones. And I said to her, do you have any um, unique ones for California? And she showed me some really naff ones. I didn't even see the Hollywood one. Yeah. So I'm really glad that we asked when we went into downtown Disney. Very nice bracelet, that. Very good. It's got some very good charms. No, I love them. So, let's move on to the final thing that we bought. Well, well which, was which a gift, is a lovely gift. A yeah. gift from uh, Shona's parents um, to celebrate our engagement whilst we were on in California. So, you can hold mine. Down Main Street, they always have the glass. Oh, we know the company was on the box. It's like Ar Arebus Brothers. Arebus A double R. IBAS Brothers. They've got it in Disneyland Paris, we've seen it before. And Florida. And we always go in and look at all the different crystal and glassware. Coming forward and on these. display they had these glasses that you could get engraved. So we had both our names engraved on the champagne flute. Are you going to be able to see this because it might be difficult to... Might oh, be oh. it's see-through. Do I need to move out? Actually no, if I put my hand over the back you should maybe be able to see it better. There we go, now you can see it. See that says Colin. Yeah, so he's got, Mickey. got Mickey, the date we got engaged, and then there's a little heart The heart's at the bottom in these glasses, so this is just a nice commemorative thing to remember when we got married. Married? <laughs> when we got engaged, not married Steady yet. On. Yeah, not yet, but we got engaged, and um, though obviously we didn't get engaged in Disney, because you no know, Disney is very close, a big part of our lives, we love Disney very much, it's just a nice... It was really nice that they wanted yeah. to get us those. I'll quickly show you uh, a... My one, one is well. the same, but it's got Minnie on it. There you go, so it says Shona, and yeah, you can see it says it's got Mini, it's got the bow on top. Apart from that, it's exactly the same, same date, but different name, and obviously the hearts at the bottom as well. We asked them These were a nice gift. to be written, to write the date, sorry, in um, the way Engl you... like English people write it, because otherwise yeah. it would be swapped round, and they really struggled, didn't they? Yeah, because we do date, month, year in America, um, if you're from America, you will know you do month, day, year, the other way around. Mm. So trying to explain that to them, they we had to write it down for them because they were getting a bit confused. So so is it the day for yeah. us? Or is it the, what do you have for the year? Like no, it's day, month, year. Yeah. And they did it. They did it spot on. It was really nice. Really nice. nice. Detail, really managed, good service. Um, pretty friendly in there. We well, carried them back in our hand luggage, thankfully. So they've yeah. travelled well. Yeah. They packaged them really well as well. So if anyone was worried about getting anything from there, they they know that obviously. You, most people are tourists and have to come on an aeroplane. So they package them really well and yeah, of course, don't put them in the suitcase. Um, mm. So yeah, we're never going to use them. We're not going to use them to put alcohol. They're just for show. They're just, just for show. They're going to be on display. Yeah. But they're really special and we're going to have them for the rest of our lives. So. Yeah, yeah isn't, that, isn't that sweet? <laughs> and isn't it this the first time we've actually referenced that we're engaged yeah. in any form of social media? So <laughs> we're very happy. Go. Cringe. Yes, Love it. Uh, thank you for watching. So that's all we bought. Uh, yeah, I'll say all I'm we looking to chat. Yeah, it is. Nice to speak for about forty minutes, but um, I know my tummy's rumbling. Yeah, <laughs> need to make dinner. Yeah, so um, we're well, very happy with what we bought. I don't regret anything I bought, and you often regret anything you no, bought. No, we've done well. I think we always do pretty well. When we buy stuff. We're awesome. <laughs>
I shouldn't say that. What are you talking about? Thank you for watching, everybody. <laughs> so I'm 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 not sure when this will go up, but I uh, appreciate you watching our videos. Got loads more California um, vlogs to come. Uh, we'll also do a debrief on our trip to California and things we learned about going to Disney and Universal and things like that. Um, don't forget to subscribe to us. You know how to do it. I'm not going to insult you. There's a button down there. We'd love to hear your thoughts on what we bought, whether you like what we bought, whether you don't like it, what you agree with, don't what, agree with. Or what we should have brought. What we should have got when we were in California at Disneyland. Let us know. Please let us know. But thank you for listening and we'll speak to you real soon. See you real soon, everybody. Bye. I can't say that. Before we go. Sharon is wearing a Whee! mini jump from Cap Kitson. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Bye.